You also run into that ground of pollier than thou, where you have you have a partner who is very, very poly, very open, very you know freedom loving, and all this stuff, and the other one might be a little more hesitant, might have some issues, might have something to go, hey. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And so you have to assert yourself a little bit and not just swallow all those feelings just because right. you're supposed to be okay. Right. You might not be okay with something. Yeah, I run into that a lot with, with um, people's associations with jealousy. Yeah. A lot of times I, I you know, hear somebody say, I'm really struggling with jealousy because everyone around me just thinks it's, it's this petty thing that I should get over. And I always tell them, I really like to unpack it because when you start to unpack jealousy, a lot of times there's all kinds of other feelings inside of that. Right. Um, like maybe feeling disrespected or maybe feeling lonely, you know. And when you start to unpack it, you realize it's so much more complicated and there's so much to work through. It may be simply envy rather than jealousy as well. Like you got it, I don't, I want it too, as opposed mm -hmm. to I want to take it from you. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you each have a cookie, you might be cool. <laughs> but if one person has a cookie and the other person has no cookies, yeah. you might have an envy issue. Right, right. I mean, there's it, there's so much you could really. I mean, I know there's some books out there. There's pe there's a lot of people that tackle the subject of jealousy, mm -hmm. but um, too often people just think it's something. They feel bad about themselves. They're like, oh, I just need to get over this, um, and they don't spend enough time just sitting with their feelings and really looking at what it truly means for them. And once they do that, they're usually able to move through it. I know Wicked feels really strongly about this particular topic, about how okay it is to feel jealous, and how it happens, and you don't have to feel guilt just because you feel jealous. This is wrapping layers of bad feelings on each other instead of just accepting it. Mm -hmm. It's also it also has a lot to do with uh, with the other person. You know, it, it is okay to feel um, what you're feeling that you're not okay with something or you're envious of something, but it's but it's also um, better for the other person to at least empathize with how you are feeling. You know, if this other person is is the type of person who says, oh, well, you know, you're poly and you're not supposed to feel that way, it's not really going to be very good with, with you processing your own feelings. Right. And, and, you know, a lot of the things that typical therapists use with typical monogamous folks, I use with Poly people, like um, one of the major types of couple therapy is something called Imago therapy that Harville Hendricks came out with, and a lot of what he talks about is really just holding space for people, you know? And, you know, so many of my couples, my couples are, my clients are very, very bright. So, like a lot of people um, who are bright, um, their intelligence has been their strength, but oftentimes it's their Achilles heel. So when they have a partner that says, I'm having this big feeling, instead of holding space for them, they tend to go, well, here's this really logical reason why you shouldn't be feeling this way. And they don't just say, you know, I hear that you're feeling really jealous. I hear that you're feeling left out. That sounds really painful. You know, as soon as you can start to hold space a little bit longer before you logic someone to death, um, <laughs> the more the person can feel held and really, you know, work through it. You know, that's it. That is a huge help when it comes to, you know, when you are feeling those feelings, what, the things that, the thing that you just said, it just made me feel better right now, and I'm not even feeling anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it, it's something that it doesn't, I mean, whether you're super bright or not, it's, it's, it's a trap that a lot of couples fall into, you know, where they're thinking, okay, this argument is uncomfortable. If I just say the perfect logical thing, then I don't have to go through this uncomfortable feeling and I can fix it for my partner. It always, it never works out. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time you end up shooting yourself in the foot, your partner feels lonely, and nothing is resolved.